Hello, and we're off to St. Austin. Back a year ago. Hello, welcome back to Trad Tuesdays, and we've got a St. Austell beer, and this is the Cornish Best. Now, this is the first time I've seen this in bottle, um, especially in the northwest, you know, Greater Manchester. Never seen this before. Um, I did the St. Austell on Trad Tuesdays with the information, I did a Hicks beer. Now, that was a, a tough beer to get hold of, I could only, could only get that when I went down into uh, Dorset. And here, here, here I find Cornish Best St. Austell beer coming in at 3.4%, which it's like an ordinary bitter, isn't it? Not the best bitter. Um, in the Waitrose near me, uh, £2 a bottle. I think the offer for St. Austell as well in there is uh, free beers, free, some free St. Austells for a fiver, which you can't go wrong, especially if you get like proper job and tribute. Um, and then beers so yeah so I've seen this I thought St Austell it's a bitter even though it's saying best bitter it's got to be an ordinary bitter at that ABV so yeah go and check out Trad Tuesdays um, and the Hicks one a bit of information about St Austell let's get this in the in the glass see what it looks like get the aroma get the taste you know what I didn't check if it was bottle conditioned could be might not be so it's pouring, yeah, it's like a bitter. Looks like a bitter, but honestly, I class that as an ordinary bitter without ABV. Ordinary bitters, best bitters, extra special bitters. This is more the ordinary bitter ABV class. Anyway, so looking a nice amber color, you know, copper to amber. It's got a nice off-white looking head. It might stick around, a little bit creamy, a little bit frothy, bit of a mix, it might dissipate. Don't know. Oh, nice and malty to be honest. Got some sweet malts there. Some nice biscuit bready note going on, that malt. Slightly floral. And my hedgerow notes, that is going to dissipate. It's definitely going to dissipate. Look at it. It's going. Um, yeah, so Cornish Best, 3.4%. Crafted Ale, St. Austell. Okay, cheers. You know what? 3.4%. That's good. It's earthy. It's got a little bit of what I call like, it's got like this woody taste, which is, you know, earthy, woody. A little bit of bitterness on the back of the tongue, a little bit of sweetness from the malt. It's got quite a lot going on for the 3.4%. 3. I say it and I keep saying it, but it's hot here in the moment. I keep saying this. These low ABV beers, honestly, they've got a lot, they've got a lot of flavour. People shouldn't be ignoring them. Just because they've got low ABV. Don't ignore them because they do carry a lot of flavour. And this is, it's not light, it's not thin, it's not watery, it's got a medium mouthfeel. It's a cracking beer, it really is. You know, like I said, I would say it's an ordinary bitter and it's easy, it's an easy drinking beer. But it's got a long lasting flavour, that can still taste that. 3.4%, go out there, try them, give them, a, just give them a chance, these lower ABVs, because honestly, you know, don't be scared of them. Yeah, I've got a lot of flavour, and if it, you know, like, there's plenty of them out there. Just go and try one. I know I keep saying it in a lot of my videos, but go and try these lower ABVs. There's some great beers to be had. You know, some of these big ABV beers are not that great. Some of these lower ABV beers are great. Okay, so what have we got? Cornish Best. Let's have a look. Let's put my glasses on. Let's have a read. Sorry, it says. Um, Cornish Best is a well-balanced, easy-drinking ale, rich malt and biscuit notes complement subtle fruit and toffee flavours and a hint of bitterness. Yeah, exactly. A Moorish, sessionable ale full of character. I agree with every word of that. I really do. 
but it's fantastic on cask as well. Um, there's not much more on there. Like I say, go and check out my uh, Tread Tuesdays for St. Hostel. You'll get a bit more info about them on there. Um, bit of a strange one, this. this if anyone's got any info on this, I'll just see this on here now. Brewed in Warmly, South Gloucestershire. Isn't St. Hostel in Cornwall? What's all that about? What is that all about? Anyone got any information on that? I'd be interested to know. Because that's totally thrown me. St. Austell Brewery. Definitely in Cornwall. Cornish Best Crafted Ale. What are they doing? Contracting this out? To Brooding Warm, Warmly. W-A-R-M-L-E-Y. South Gloucestershire. Don't know what that's all about. Anyway. I think that's a great beer. Not going to complain about that. Um, it's not got it's, it's St. Hostel Brewery Co. Limited. It's a strange one. It's really strange how it's got that on there. I might have to do a little research myself. And if I do, I'll put it up on the uh, on the screen. But that's just thrown me. I never read the, the backs of the bottles or the or the cans because I want to go in as blind as I can. Um, it's going to change my mind now. Still got plenty of flavour for a 3.4%. Happy with it. Really am. Okay. Thanks for watching. Let me take these off. Thanks for watching. Cheers. And I'll see you on the next one. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating.